Today we're going to be playing uh, Warhammer Online. We're going to be talking about AFK Net and what that means. Um, AFK Net, it, just about all of these uh, types of games have a way for players to do as little as possible in order to achieve the end game. And developers know this, so they always will implement something that a GIMP can do by not doing anything at all in order to keep subscribers because they know what they're dealing with. I mean, they're dealing with, uh, you know, the unemployed or people that have jobs that shouldn't have jobs or if their job evaporated, they'd be unemployed. I mean, these are the kind of people that play these kinds of games. So they always put something in place for these, these types of gimps to excel in the game without playing the game. And so what I'm showing you here is we just recently transferred to Destruction the destruction side we were on order and uh, I've already I mean I've noticed that a lot of these guys a lot of these gimps are AFK in all these in tier 3 in all these zones so what I'm doing is in this video is we're showing you that I'm, I'm reporting them and you see right there they're they're disappearing um, and what happens we found that over usually it takes about 500 appeals CSR appeals um, in these types of games in order for them to rethink what their guidelines are or what their rules are on whatever we're reporting for people for so in this case reporting people for AFK well, when we started on order side we reported over 2100 people okay when we first got here last July 2011 there was I mean everyone was AFK on bridges and I mean anywhere you went any zone you went they were AFK so we were constantly reporting them in about 500 uh, about every 500 appeals, we noticed that they would change the policy a little bit. Like, uh, for example, when we started reporting people on order, what would happen is they would uh, kick them out of the game. So we would just wait, buy them, report them, watch them, you know, get kicked out, of, get get disconnected from the game, and then we would go on our on our way and report someone else and then what they started doing is uh, they probably started losing subscribers on that I don't know I'm sure it would make them make the customer upset they're getting kicked out and when they were leeching their for the last you know year or whatever playing the game so they're they're mad and so what they did is they uh, started kicking them to the war camp then they started um, just moving them a little bit outside of the RVR area and you'll see that in this uh, video um, you'll see you'll see all three examples you'll see a guy get kicked to the war camp you'll get see a guy guys that just get disconnected like these two right here on the screen now this is this is a, a little bit of a jackpot situation because we've got a guy who's actually macroing and that's it that's a big no-no that's usually a two-day suspension so I report this guy um, one of these guys, the, the the chosen, see the guy jumping right there? That guy I reported for macroing, and this uh, this chosen guy, he's just reported. They're both macroing, but this guy makes it really uh, obvious that he's macroing. So he's going to enjoy a two-day suspension off that. And as you can see right there, the chosen disappears, which is a nice touch. And then I just wait for this uh, this stupid gimp to get kicked out. And then I move on to the next one, but like I was saying, I mean they they institute all different types of things. They'll they'll change the policy as they go, and it really just depends on which uh, CSR you get. Um, throughout a day, I'm sure I'm messaging most of them. Um, I've already clocked. I mean, we've only been playing Destruction for five days, and I've already probably sent in over a hundred hundred uh, appeals for AFK. And and then here you can see the greetings. Like each time they do something, they'll send you this, and it usually means, "Hey, man, they got kicked out." And that's it. And that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. In the top right hand corner, you can see in the uh, blue text. What we'll do is uh, we'll actually message these gimps and welcome them back to the game after suspension. We write all their names down, and then we message them when we see them in game. And you can see this guy; he's pretty upset that he got kicked out. And uh, so we get a lot of a lot of you know a lot of things like this. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, stupid gimps. Hog for life.